Have you ever wondered what might be lurked left Facebook yesterday and doesn't use other platforms like Twitter? So it's curious how she's aware of these threats while supposedly being inactive online. Fiona emphatically denies sending the alleged 41,000 emails and 350 voice messages, calling it impossible and rubbish. Yet she admits to sending a few emails and tweets, downplaying her level of contact. Her account of her first meeting with Richard Gadd and their subsequent pub visits also raises eyebrows. Fiona denies accepting free drinks and portrays the initial encounter differently from the show's depiction. Perhaps in an attempt to lessen her familiarity with Gad, she admits to making a joke about curtains but quickly categorizes it as harmless banter. Interestingly, Fiona strongly denies ever being charged or convicted, insisting she never went to jail or was involved in the alleged court case. This strong denial, in light of the drama's specific details, calls for corroborative evidence to be fully believed. Fiona's responses about technology are notably evasive. When questioned about the iPhone discrepancy, she deflects by saying, I'm not technology kid of the year, avoiding a direct answer about her device usage. She often uses vague language when describing her communications, which could indicate deception. Accusing Richard Gadd and Netflix of fabricating evidence and persecuting her, Fiona conveniently shifts all blame away from her without providing concrete proof. Her tone becomes defensive and hostile when discussing Gad, describing him as psychotic and accusing him of deliberate persecution. This emotional response could either be genuine anger or a tactic to divert suspicion. In conclusion, Fiona's statements show several inconsistencies, evasiveness or excessive defensiveness, suggesting potential deception. While some discrepancies could be due to genuine misunderstandings or memory lapses, the overall pattern raises questions about the complete truthfulness of her account. It's a fascinating study in statement analysis, and a reminder that what's said is often just as important as what's left unsaid. I really don't know where it's gonna end.